Good day everybody. Welcome to Little Urban Apothecary. Uh, today we're going to make a very simple do-it-yourself at home um, glycerin soap. I'm um, going to call it licorice because we're going to add a great little essential called aniseed and it smells like licorice. So to start the recipe out, I've got cut up here a glycerin soap and I have two pounds and what I'm going to do, some people like to melt it on the stove. I'm actually going to put it all in and let the microwave do its check in melting all these little cubes down into a liquid. And then what we're gonna add is bentonite clay. And I like to call it healing clay. Clay is really great if you've done any research at all. Uh, clay is great for uh, soothing your skin, uh, making your skin soft, just overall feels great in a soap. So we're gonna add um, two scoopfuls and I'll show you how to do that. And that's what's gonna give this color the soap, this lovely kind of gray color that kind of looks a little bit like licorice. And the oil that I'm going to use today is by Beauty Aurora. And I'm gonna add in, when everything's ready, about six dropperfuls into my mixture. And we're going to pour them and get these little six cavity molds. They're perfect for making a little singular soap for gifts. So we're gonna pour everything into there and let's get melting this soap. Okay, so now we've got it all melted. And then like I said, it turns into like a kind of a watery, syrupy consistency. So at this point, it's a good time to add in two scoops of benzenite clay. just like this. You can add one. And then two. Mix it all in. I sometimes take a little whisk because I sometimes find it easier uh, to break down the powder or the clay. Let's kind of do this to it. Once I have that all mixed together and the consistency that I'd like for soap, we're going to add in our essential oil. So I want to talk a little bit about um, the aniseed essential oil that I'm using today. It's a product from Turkey. It's essentially where um, this type of oil comes from. And the medicinal properties for this oil, it's great for digestive stimulant. I use it in soap. Uh, not only for the great smell, licorice smell, but I like it because it has an anesthetic property to it, which is great, an antioxidant property, an anti-tumoral, and an anti-inflammatory. So this soap with that oil in it um, is great for everything that I mentioned, not to mention it's uh, Super great for showering with. You can use it on your face. The clay feels great on your face and your skin. Washing your hands. This is a great soap. And don't forget antibacterial. So we all need that in our lives these days. So there, get everything mixed together. Now the time we're gonna add. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna add the oil. And then I'm going to give this a little spritz because you can kind of see it's got a little foamy layer on it. And to get rid of that, all you simply need to do is uh, spritz some alcohol. So I'll do that right now. You can kind of see it'll kind of get rid of some of the air bubbles. 
here comes the fun smelly part. I'm gonna take and put. So by me squeezing on the dropper, I end up with about a half a pipette full. I'm gonna do four of those, and I might even be a little generous tonight and put five in. There's four. Five. Gonna give it a good stir again. Mix it all together again. And like I said prior, you know to use these little molds, which are, is great to make um, just really wonderful bar, bar size soaps to have at your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink in your shower. Once again, make sure we've got all the ingredients mixed really well together. You don't want to waste any product. So please visit um, the description to this video and you will see a link to where you can buy the product uh, directly made by Little Urban Apothecary and you'll be able to, if you want to create your own, buy all the great ingredients um, that actually went into the making of this product. And I also have this fun little book I'll share with you. It's kind of using it as a reference book. It's called Essential Oils Pocket Reference and I'll put a link in a link in as well to this book and what you'll find in there it talks about all the uses of all the single oils that you can buy um, all their key constitutes their historical data on the oils the medicinal parts and there's also um, a whole slew of conditions uh, ranging from, you know, depression to uh, lupus, heart conditions, uh, arthritis, all kinds of different uh, medical conditions in this book. And it talks about how um, certain essential oils, aromatherapy, holistically um, will help in uh, different types of diseases. So I'm just going to get that all mixed together. I think it's uh, you get a great consistency there. And I'm going to pour them. I'll make it six or seven. So I do have an extra grouping of molds. So we're going to pour right to the top. I wish you could smell this. It's, if you like black licorice, oh my goodness, you're going to love this soap. I'm gonna want to take a bite of it actually. It smells that good. And then I think I have enough in there for one more soap. for a little tiny tester. So before uh, removing the soap from the mold, I like to leave it in the molds for 24 hours before taking them out. And then I immediately package them. I seal, uh, I use a um, seal wrap in my specialty ribbon and don't forget you see there's kind of it's called ash soap ash so i'm just going to spray this on with alcohol and it will help eliminate um, little ash that gets created so once again thank you very much uh, for watching this video um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel we try to post uh, every week if not a few times a week on our channel so we would really appreciate you subscribing and then you're up to up to date on some current trends and things like that so and if you're interested i have videos for making all natural lip balm uh, shower steamer seems to be the new thing these days some people call them shower bombs of course bath bombs um, 
yeah and so go have a look and appreciate your subscription and uh, returning to watch more videos have a great day okay so I have put this in the microwave for four minutes and you're gonna see there's a few little bits that still require a little melting and just by stirring they will all just through going through the heat of the rest of the liquid of the soap they will uh, slowly melt down so we just have a clear mixture that kind of looks like water Keep stirring. 